Everybody, welcome to the Three Spurs Boys. Welcome to Three Spurs Boys, and welcome to Off the Pitch. We are back. Thank you, Rogers Telecom, for absolutely screwing up our last <laughs> week. But hey, we're back. We're back in action. We can finally stream again. Yeah, and we are back off the pitch, so we can sit back and relax and talk to the ones we love. And do we have two people that we love today? That's right. I said two. We got. Class acts that have not only helped us get into this in the first place, but they've been there supporting us, holding our hands in every single thing we need, from good advice to tech support endlessly all the time. They know which ones who. Everybody's always helping out. But like I said, we don't have one. We've got two. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please join me. Join me, us, us and welcome the two Brian's. From Tottenham on tour. Yeah. And we're touring and off the yep. pitch today. Welcome, boys. Welcome, What's up, people? What's up, What's everybody? up, boys? How you guys doing? What Good to see happening. you. Great to see you. Great to see you. So, how's things on your end, fellas? We got connection over there? Yeah, things are good, guys. We're uh, we're, we're 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 rocking. What's going to happen uh, in the next uh, next little bit for the channel? So lots of meetings today, and uh, really just watch you know watch some football this morning. It's it, it's really good in Spurs land at the moment. So uh, very happy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I I couldn't agree more. At the moment, the birds are singing, the sun is shining, the yeah. sky is blue. Dagle uh, is smiling. Conte is a beautiful, beautiful man. Yeah, Conte. <laughs> Conte for, Conte's to take over Boris Johnson as prime minister of the country. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, just everything is all good. And obviously uh, with Ireland and then obviously three people that are very, very special to me. So uh, this is going to be a, a, a very, very good show. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having uh, us. We're, we're just glad we finally got you in here. This has been long overdue yep. again. Right there, the man with the collared shirt, Mr. Daigle, brought me into this in the very first place. Said, oh, come on, come on, just come on our show, come on our show. You'll like it, you'll oh, like what it. What am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? Right now, look at the intro that these guys have. It's ridiculous, amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that? You got your intro. You got. You guys are professionals now. You, yep. You're yeah, nailed that, it. Fantastic. They got Bob's for, for that one, man. Yeah, you Bobby's, asked, Bobby's you asked for a little bit, you get a lot. We've got That's a right. wicked ending at the end of this, too. Uh, this guy named Brian Ireland dropped that on us <laughs> as well. You might know. Do the ending, that's, tour. <laughs> that's the guy I refer to for my tech support. You know, Brian, thank you. Every time I message you, any yeah, kind anytime, of man, anytime. everything I need, you're always willing to help me out. I know I frustrate you sometimes because I ask repetitive questions sometimes and I play dumb with the answers, but you still sit there patiently through it and hold my hand. Brian Daigle, anytime I've needed to find some sort of direction for what we want to do with the channel, anything. You're always willing to help us out. You always provide great input. So big love to the guys at Tottenham on tour, to our two Bryans, our two favorite Bryans. Yeah. I, I don't think I even know any of the Bryans I like. So <laughs> definitely, definitely top-notch folks right here. So let's get into this, fellas. Let me start off with what inspired you to start the channel in the first place and where did the name come from? Let's start off with we just talked to Brian Erland last week. So let's give Daigle a chance to talk to us right now. I think he I think he probably has a little bit more of the story too. So he's probably the right one to ask. Yeah, I mean Perfect. You know, well, they, actually it's gonna flip to you too as it well. Will, but, but, you'll, but you'll get a sense of it. And we'll, we'll probably answer answer it together to some extent. But when when you look at this. It's actually, we need to go back to where Ireland and I met. And obviously, we started off at Tottenham Away. That was our first channel. Um, but what happened is, obviously, I started doing my my bits on We Are Tottenham TV. And uh, someone from uh, his other podcast, The North End, reached out to, uh, to Matt Frank, the chairman of Toronto Spurs, and said, hey, guys, we're looking for a Tottenham Hotspur supporter. Do you have anyone that can come on and do... Uh, a podcast with us and this wasn't youtube this was just yeah this was just audio this, just this audio. was just audio so obviously they gave my name i reached out to them and then brian and i brian and i got talking and then literally i've always wanted to do this always always wanted to do this 
But where the YouTube I'm, end or just talking the, about the, you, the you, talk, any, anything, mate. I'll talk about anything to Tottenham, but YouTube or a podcast or whatever. Okay. But the things I was lacking was a hosting skills, and B all the editing and all the back end stuff because that's just that's just not me. And then literally, Brian and I were talking after we finished doing this podcast, and he said to me, "I've always wanted to do not a Premier League one, but a Spurs focused one." So it's like. Well, you can do the audio in and editing and hosting because you do it for the North End. I've got this thing here which gets me in and out of a lot of trouble. Um, yes, it so does. So we're like, we're, we're just like, do you know what? Let's start Never. Tottenham Away. Then Tottenham Away was obviously born. But then, as we all know, we we, we uh, <laughs> left Tottenham, on, uh, Tottenham Away solely being because of COVID and the time... Uh, that they we were doing our streams on a Monday was time when Brian and I were back at work. So so we split and the reason we came up, we were sitting down one night and I wanted to do something where our logo was T O T. So you know like when you watch Spurs on TV in the top left hand oh, corner right. you have it says T O T, right? Right. So okay. literally, I never knew that. Okay. Okay. And this literally. is what you get on behind the this exclusive content only off available. The pitch content That's why you're right. off the pitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. So so I, exclusive stuff people enjoy. <laughs> there you go. That's how Tottenham on tour and obviously with Tottenham away, that was the whole meaning behind it. We were Spurs fans away. Yeah. And now, obviously, the Tottenham on tour has really uh, helped because I'm back in England a lot of time at the moment, whether it be... He's touring everywhere these for, days. For, you know, for, who knows where Brian's so, going to so be. So the name just fit, but that's, that's how this came about. Yeah. Literally, he wanted to do something Tottenham. I wanted to do something Tottenham. We both required someone to do the other bits. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't really need to ask me the same question. You can if you want, but I'm going to tell the same story. So, um, you know, it's, it, but it was... Well, you can uh, add, add to whatever Brian... Yeah, it, it was, that, that's it, fine. You don't need to start all yeah, over. Yeah, for sure, but, for sure. Yeah, yeah of course. It, it was two, it, two, peas, two peas in a pod, essentially. A couple, uh, two, couple of people who kind of had... Uh, Obviously, the love for Spurs was was the the main thing. I, I am I am still doing the North End, but I'm, I'm less involved in it as far as the building of everything. Um, but the Spurs, obviously, the cl one club is more <laughs> is more uh, meaningful, ma more meaningful even. Yeah. Uh, it, it I just I don't really care that much about the other clubs until we play them and smash them, and I'm like, you know, that's that's what I <laughs> enjoy about. Um, I do I do enjoy a little bit of the football, but it was more about uh, fo Spurs focus, um, and I just uh, you know I just I, I love the club and. Uh, Obviously, him being from England, just to getting to learn a lot about what what is what did uh, his experience was with Spurs growing up and being from where he's from, uh, just gave me a, a, the even more buzz to to get into it. So it was kind of a a combination of all those things just coming together at the right time. Correct. That's fantastic. I'm glad that you guys. You know what? Like you said, it's 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 almost a combination of fate too that you guys yep. found each other. Yeah, and, circumstance, circumstance. Well, like, like like how you and me met, Bobby. That, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's kind of like how you and I met through Tottenham, through yep. Toronto Spurs. We met at the pub. Uh, I think me and Brian had spoken for about 18 seconds before we decided we were best friends now. <laughs> no, literally, it was, it was the first day of Toronto Spurs when we rebranded from Spurs Canada. And we had a whole massive thing at the Scotland Yard with raffles and whatever. And literally, Bobby was at the pub with his kids and a... Uh, Literally, I was handing out the raffle prizes, mm. and he was Bobby was standing next to me, and we just got talking. And then one of his kids won. He's a bit hard to get along with, but you know, yeah, eventually he, it just. Yeah, it just yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm very standoffish. I don't yeah, talk. Yeah, just like, don't uh, talk like he doesn't really want to talk. Shy. Sits in the corner really quietly. Yeah, yeah. very <laughs> shy, very <laughs> shy and reserved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah people are always telling me you should speak up a little bit. The guy, yeah, the guy, yeah. the guy calls me like I meet him one day. He calls me oh, the next day. Like, who is this guy calling me? Me, yeah. me and Bobby are very misunderstood. Yeah. We're very misunderstood, aren't we, Bobby? We don't make things clear enough when we speak. Yeah. No, yeah. not at all. No, yeah, yeah, you know, we need we need to come with our own subtitles or something like that. Or one <laughs> of those people that walks around with the thought bubbles that pop up behind us, kind of thing. That would be helpful. You know, it would to be help helpful. Clarify everything Absolutely. because we're just we just we never speak our mind, Brian. That's what it is. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Quiet guys like us, we tend to keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay the sigh from my little one i think says it all folks i think the sigh says it all so let's not get into the tougher stuff let's break it up a little bit my man you've got a question for them don't you i know you want to go you always want to go oh no we can rock up scissors right? no <laughs> rocket paper is getting that early getting all that going now now this is my first question and this one is actually really special to me because i'm i'm really 
in love with what I'm about to say, okay? So um, this one you can ask Ireland first. Okay. All right. What is your favorite planet and why? My favorite planet. Oh, planet. Oh, planet that's... in the solar system. My man's a space guy. Oh, no, I love the question. Uh, well, I'm going to, this is going to be, uh, an, it's an easy answer for me, and it's the planet we're on. Um, because it's the only one that can that we know of that has life on it, and we don't exist without it. My favorite planet outside of Earth um, is probably Jupiter. Um, I like that storm that's been going on for millions and millions of years. That just keeps just like swirling around is uh, is impressive. It's beautiful. It's dark. It's gritty. Um, all the things that I like about living uh, are, are on that planet, and you could never live on it. So it's kind of uh, it's got you know, and watching it from Earth is is the right is the right place to do it. But yeah, I am a, I am an absolute science nerd. I love anything sci-fi. I love anything science related. Uh, that's that's kind of uh, my second love. Uh, next to Spurs, I so. literally feel like I'm on the Big Bang Theory. Right <laughs> yeah, <now. laughs> uh, I was gonna say the, these are two little, two pods, uh, two also, pieces also in a like different pod show, now so. because <laughs> here's the space folk here. Because when there I was telling Little K about Brian's love and, and, and affection for space, he, his eyes lit up. He's like, "What? I didn't yeah. know that." And I'm like, "You gotta you gotta have conversation more than just about football sometimes." You should. Oh yeah, that. I mean, I'm, I'm you know the stuff that's going on right now with NASA and the the, uh, the 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 telescope they've just launched, and it's pretty beautiful to see the beginning of the universe 13 billion years ago. I'm well, Mister Ireland, that you perfect. just got an invitation, and Big K yeah. had a great idea. Maybe uh, something completely way off the pitch. Let's go into <laughs> outer space and have oh, a show nice. Nice. with Ireland and Little K. Hey, I'm into it. And their thoughts on space and everything. <laughs> so now, Mister right. Nagel, same so, question. Uh, so you've had the real science <laughs> loving all that shit. Now you're going to get <laughs> shit. Tough. <laughs> well, that's the reason you're alive. Stuff. Now, 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 yeah. you're, now well, you're breathing and living yeah. and enjoying now, life. Now, now you're going to get the comedic one because I didn't even think of Earth. And I'm just going to say, listen, when it comes to science, I ain't got a clue. So I'm just going to say Mercury because I love Queen and the lead singer is obviously Freddie Mercury. So that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> where, where yeah, that's where I'm a massive Queen fan. That, that so, goes across the board. So yeah, but I I I haven't got what you said about Jupiter and the, the telescope and blah. being <laughs> absolute. You could have I had, yeah. Um. So 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 yeah. I I with this, I'm only going to have to go with name uh, familiarization. Good choice. Good choice. Great answer. Going, right? Good choice and a great a great reasoning yeah. behind it. Why the thing I love about both of your answers the most is that Jupiter, his favorite planet, Queen, one of his favorite groups. There you go. Nailed so it. he absolutely yeah. loves Freddie Mercury, his voice and everything. Oh, and he's incredible. So you, incredible. Just, you, you just filled his boots up, and my man's beaming over here. But I see, I never knew why he loved Jupiter so much. I thought it was because it's called the gas giant, and him being 6'2", he's my gas giant. <laughs> he's full of gas. <laughs> yeah. See, they both love the things I love. Now, only yeah. if they love for Eric Dyer is the same as mine. So let's like let's not get into that. He scored a wonderful goal today. It was pretty. It was pretty sweet. Eric pretty sweet. Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer loves you. <laughs> nice one, lads. Fantastic. Does. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, no, it's your question. Yeah, what? Oh, we need to answer that question. Too. No, we don't. We're asking them. Favorite questions. planet. You already know mine. Man. Okay, why don't you? Ta- Here's his Jupiter. Tell us yours, then. Go What's on. What's your favorite planet? What My is your favorite? Planet? Saturn. <laughs> Saturn. Is it the rings? Yeah, the rings. That's that's yeah. why it's mom's favorite planet. She likes the rings, the ones with diamonds. <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Saturn rings no, diamonds. No, that's is Uranus. It, is it Uranus. That's Ur- 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 Uranus, Uranus, guys. Oh, Uranus. Hold on. We got we got the, the specialists right here, man. The experts here. Which one's which, Mister Ireland? What? Which one's the diamond planet? The one. That uh, Uranus. Uranus. Uranus is the diamond planet. Yeah, Uranus. Oh, there you go. Do you? Well, there you go. Ur- there you go. Uranus. Uranus. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like Uranus. <laughs> uh, that's what a lot of people like to think. <laughs> I, 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 I made jokes made about that. I specifically <laughs> tried to avoid saying it that way because I knew I would get a giggle from everybody. Uh, you're on the three yeah. Spurs boys, man. It's a kid's <laughs> channel. You know we were going to say know, Uranus. Somebody eventually said it and everybody laughed. So there you go. <laughs> Can't giggle at Uranus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, first, let's start off with Mr. Brian Daigle. Are you happy or sad about um, us selling Bergeron Tyax? Like, do you think? Uh, should... Oh, Ireland's here. It's a Burge wine. Burge wine. It's Burge wine. It's my Tyax. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, with me, I'm, I, I'm a fan, or was, he's now left us, obviously, a fan of Burge wine. Um, 
I always thought there's a player in there. It was just trying to find the right position and him getting a run of form and getting that time. Obviously, it hasn't happened. You look at it, I I, I, I was not he I was there for the Leicester game when he scored two goals, which <laughs> In a minute, I was literally in that stadium. So that's one of the greatest moments I've ever had as a Spurs fan at a live match. So I'll always love him for that. But the way it ended and the way he was being quite, I want out, I want out. I understand players do that, but it's just, it just didn't sit right with me. Listen, we wanted, he wanted to go. Conte didn't want him. We got the money. He's gone. Yeah, It's not one of these that we've had recently. Where oh a player doesn't want to go a player wants to go we're charging so much that they don't go and then they just sit there and sit there and sit there and get more and more annoyed and more and more unhappy so so we've got him out so it was the right time the way he ended it wasn't wasn't right for me so uh, in Conte we trust hundred percent hundred percent Mr Ireland. Yeah, I'm a, a similar response to a Daigle, and I think that um, it's it, other than the way he left, I do understand his frustration. He did every chance he got; he he basically took to some extent, and then never or rarely after he took that chance did he get another chance. It was almost always a bit part, and it took a while before he got the other full chance. I, I understand his position. Maybe he didn't say the right things, and players often don't. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was a really good player. I think he was a bit unlucky with the position he was good at. Yeah. It was the same position Sonny's good at. You're looking at trying. Like, how does he play in that left wing, uh, forward left left side, and get in front of Sonny, who's one of the best players in that position at the moment in the world. So, it's a bit unfortunate. You could play him on the right, which we saw Mourinho do, but I'm a little bit. I was a little bit iffy of it. It worked defensively, but not necessarily going forward. I just think his timing was it was off for the club. But uh, I liked him as a player. I like him as a player. I think he do really well at Ajax. I think he's better than. The, the the Erdeveze as far as the league he's playing and I think he should be playing in a much better league yeah. and I think he might I think somebody else somewhere else will pay him uh, but getting the money we got for him you know all hail Paratici for that I mean that's just yeah, we paid. fantastic yeah. money like it's basically the same we paid for him uh, you know and, he, and he's still uh, the value is uh, for, for, for the money isn't fantastic so uh, very happy about that um, but yeah it's a tough one when you lose a player and, and when they uh, they you see the potential and they don't they don't uh, reach it fully for the club yeah, and unfortunately, we've had a lot of players over the years that have, uh, you know, had our hopes and 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 dreams up there, and then they crushed them. Yeah. So, um, like I said, there is moments and and glimpses of greatness from him, but unfortunately, just not consistently, and never through ninety minutes. Yeah. So I, I I cannot recall that kid ever playing one full match. I don't I don't know that if he did. And again, it, it, it sort of comes back to that like the unluckiness of being in the position that Sonny is in because unless Sonny got injured, he was never gonna play a lot. And he was never he's never a striker. I mean, I know people, I know Mourinho, and I know Conti's even said he's he gonna play a nine. He plays a nine for for Holland uh, international team, but I still think he's a left sided forward and he loves to cut in and it's just his style. And again, not getting in front of Sonny. So yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, let's keep it rolling, boys. Now we got to go back to Tottenham on tour because this is off the pitch. So we need to know about you. We need to know about your channel. With the rapid growth, like you guys just, you know, you teared up so quick. You know, Mr. Daigle was over there pumping up Tottenham on tour, Tottenham on tour while he was in England and everything, helped the growth of the channel. Then you guys have come up with all these new concepts and everything with the Daigle's Digest, with, um, uh, oh, God, straight out of Conte and everything, which... <laughs> It's, it's awesome. I love the way you guys came up with the theme song for that, the concept of that and everything. Um, you've got a lot of different things going on right now. You also had your little um, battling wars going on there with, between uh, Sean and Alex and everything. A lot of different things. You guys are always coming up with new ideas. Do you find now with that rapid growth that do you find it difficult to kind of keep up with the chat that you have going at the time, you know, you got two, 300 people in there sometimes. And then all the socials that you guys are doing, you know, you're very active with your Twitter. We just sure had a meeting about all this. So <laughs> I'm sorry. We just had a meeting about all this. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. then there you go. It's fresh More on inside mind. information. People stay tuned. Fresh Another exclusive. Yeah. Fresh on the mind. Uh, yeah. All of those things are difficult. Um, you don't really realize, I think when you grow as fast as we did, what the, 
expectations are from the people who have subscribed. And I, I think some of what's happened to us is consistency has been a problem because um, him going back to the UK, um, me working, um, Danny going uh, going to to Holland to see his his girlfriend, um, and 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 uh, a, a few other things that that have sort of gotten in the way of consistency, and that's probably bigger bigger being our biggest issue. But that is going to change. We've come up with some ways of, of managing that um dealing with the subscribers or the people on as you're live streaming is always a fun thing to try to do um of course we're learning how to do that as we go as well so um yeah it's it's uh growing as quickly as we have has been difficult i think we're lucky uh that we are in this this community that we have this spurs community with a lot of the people who kind of especially the we are Tottenham tv boys we we have them on speed dial with this guy so you know for like hey uh what do we do in this situation you know and we can sort of ask them um we went through uh, a sponsorship conversation today and we were able to call simi and just ask him you know what 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 do you what did you guys do and we were able to get some really good um really good feedback from them so um yeah yeah you know that's that's what i'd have to say it's 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 been tough but it's been tons of fun and uh and i don't think we i don't think i ever expected to be here with it this this quickly i thought um you know 1000 subscribers would be oh, take a while to get to uh, we're 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 rocking on close to five at the moment, and uh, almost, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty there. pretty come amazing. On, come on, people, get in there, sum it up, man. Get Unless in there, like you, like <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just, it, baby. I'll, 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 you you've covered a lot. What I will say is, obviously, when we started, just talking them away. Or I even said to to you that you know what, one day I'd love to be able to sit in a room with Ben and Sim or get them on our get them on our pod. It was like. Oh my God, they're coming on. Oh my God, it was like we hit Hollywood. Um, yeah, we become friends. Because obviously, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. people know you my are. relationship with Ben and Simeon, and, and you'll know as well, Bobby. Uh, that When you come into this, the support that everyone gives everyone is absolutely, it doesn't matter where you are, but, but yeah. like with the growth, like you guys have started, like beforehand, you weren't on Twitter. And then you realize how key it is to be active on Twitter. I was not, told not, to start Twitter, so yeah, I didn't, no, this is, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> and you got to like, like, like Brian, what, 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 what we were doing is we said we'll do a one thousand thank you for subscribe. And literally, whilst that time I was in London, we were just that we grew about we went to three, two thousand like in a week. Yeah, we were, <laughs> like, what? Less, than, less than that. It was, it was we yeah, were just crazy. And what you do realize, and, and you guys will realize as well, is when you start doing it, and Brian Arden used the word a lot. It's right, it's consistency. Yeah. And you don't picture in like when 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 you started going on We Are Tottenham TV and I did it was I watched their show I hit that link I go on they ask me questions you do your I go off and... goodbye yeah. you're done your day's that's over that's me, yeah that's me done but yeah. then obviously you realise like you said the shows that we put on and we had there's new shows coming your way for the new season and everything it's time consuming and obviously when you're on different time zones when you do your stuff which the beauty is the three of you are together obviously a lot of the day pretty easy to schedule uh, pretty, yeah let's do a show <laughs> yeah. Bang, done bye yeah, yeah but for us even though we're in the same country are you working i'm currently out of work yep i'm free no i'm not i've got to do then you add danny um and it's like are you free uh it's it, but it, it you take on a lot it's it's, it's like a second job almost. It really is. Oh, yeah, you, know, yeah. it, it, you know, I I I'm a I'm a freelancer and I do a lot of you know I've been an entrepreneur. I've been running my own business for a long time, and this has become part of that business. But it's it's another it's another piece, and it, and 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 it takes a lot. It's it takes a. Uh, you know, as we as we've realized, and that's what comes with as it grows, as it grows, the expectation from yourself grows, and the expectation from the subscribers, yeah. and you want to you, you want to meet what they want, and you want to make sure that you give them um, the product, a, a good product. You want to perform for them. You want to make sure that they get the the stuff that that, that, that they're going to like, the stuff that you used to like before you did it. So it's yeah. kind of uh, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a challenge, but it's a ton of fun. But it's also it's a lot of work. Yeah, and you, you, like you guys are probably realizing it, oh, it yeah. the, the amount yeah. of work involved in in. And how much, but also how much fun it is when you when you have good shows and you have good people and you have these conversations that yeah. we're having the right now. Uh, we've had with the scheduling is basically because our guests, some of them have been on the other side of the world or yeah. whatever. Enough. So, like you said, the coordination and stuff. Yeah, you got to, and, and because they're our guests, we've got to, of course, go to their schedule and everything like yeah. that. And that's been a challenge sometimes, obviously, with the kids and their activities. Boy, he's got to go to bed at some point, right? <laughs> Not him, but him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you do eventually, he said, eventually. So, no, you can't stay up for 68 hours straight. No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, me? No, I choose. Oh, no, it's his. Go. <laughs> now, um, we're going to start off with Brian Deagle this time. And you've muted yourself. There we go. 
Oh, okay, sorry. Um, what was your it's got favorite? Sniffles. <laughs> what was your favorite board game growing up? What was my favorite board game? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, there's a second part to that. Oh, cool. Jesus. Two part questions. I love it. I said, you know what? I mean, I, I've watched these videos before, so I should know some left field questions are coming out my way. But I wouldn't have thought in a minute. My favorite board game. <laughs> So I used to play Ludo a lot with my grandma and grandpa. Ludo, the Ludo's a good I one. used to play that. I had Ludo. Certain, certain, you must know Ludo, where you've got the, the green, the blue, the yellow, and the red, and you've oh, got to go around the board and get it into the... Uh... Sorry. Never heard of Ludo? Check it out. It's fun. Sorry. Isn't that called sorry here? It is, yeah. yes. Oh, is that another word okay. for it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay. That, okay. Then you've yeah. got, like, like, you got the basics. It's a classic. So it's, you got it's, yeah, okay. Four. I've seen the Canadian. I never knew it was called Ludo, but okay. okay so you got Guess Four, Guess guess Who, Connect Four. Connect four, yeah. four, yeah. I've, yeah. I've molded the two games together. Connect Connect <laughs> Who and uh, Guess Four. It will be coming out via Tottenham on Tour. Um, <laughs> Look for that in the but, fall. But, but yeah, so, so they're the ones I can record. Oh, oh. Also, I uh, don't know if you remember a game called Mousetrap. Oh, that was one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Mousetrap. You got to pick one here, Bryce. Right. He's, so, he's just naming them yeah, all. No, you know? no, no, yeah, pick yeah. a favorite and then listen to the second part uh, of the question. Uh, uh, let's go with Mousetrap. Let's go with Mousetrap. Right. Yeah, that was like six answers. I know. Yeah. 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 Going. I'm like, we didn't ask you, like, name you think all we got Byron here to keep you, keep you alive <laughs> yeah. here, Daigle. This is what I do on a regular basis, man. This is my life. And your answer now, Ireland. Okay. Uh, my yeah, answer was the game, the my, and then ask them both oh, the second part okay. at the same time. Yeah, my answer is the game of life. Uh, wonderful game. Oh, He's yeah. with my that's a fan favorite. It's a classic. It's got the cars with the little people in it, and you yeah. drive around the thing, and they're you know, uh, yeah, that, that's a good one. It was a very American game. I grew up in the states. I lived in Georgia for eight years as a kid, and that was one of the most popular games. So I played a lot of it. I did play a lot of Sorry as well, but we won't get into other games because we're picking our favorites. So. Yeah, actually, I, I, um, the one thing I appreciate about the game of life is the simplicity of it. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah, that? Sorry. Simple game. You just spin and go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Spin, the, spin the dial and roll around and see what happens. Three years. No, okay. You lost the pieces three years ago, don't we? Have, we have a digital version on the PS4, don't we? Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay. <laughs> now, the second part, please. Second part. Uh, we're going to start off with Brian Island this time. Oh. Cool. Um, what was your favorite board game? Now, oh, I was—I already thought of that as you were asking. Oh, I'm like, he's going to ask the now question. Uh, it's an easy answer for me, and I'm a massive uh, nerd for word games, and I love Scrabble. And I'm don't play me against it because I'll slaughter you, and you'll be embarrassed. Um, so uh, Scrabble, yeah, easy. Two you'll, you'll play, you better play Scrabble Junior. Look at Bobby when it's a slaughter. No, yeah, no we'll play. We'll play. We'll use the the Marvel version. <laughs> That's we're we're still going to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll answer. Do you know what I? It's it's a great game that I love playing now with Alana, and we play with other people who are with categories. That's a fun game. Scategories yeah, well, is yeah, a yeah. hell of a lot of fun. It's a good time. Hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh. It's a yeah. good time. It's good with uh, some adults and. Uh... Yeah, it's more of an adult oh, game. Yeah, oh, yeah. they don't know what it is. Yeah. You call it oh yeah, yeah. yeah cards against yeah. humanity. That's what yeah. you guys oh, like, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's fun. very adult game. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Tons of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a different. Yeah. Show Whoever came play. up with that, what a great simple concept and so much. Fantastically fun. funny. Yeah. You played the family version. You're not allowed to play the version I would play with these guys. You okay? We won't get into it. Thank you. I'm gonna get me locked up here. Okay. Okay. Um, out of all the signings we made this summer, which is phenomenal, I didn't even expect this much. Who would you say is the most crucial signing we've made that will really affect us next season? And let's start off with Brian Ireland. Okay. I've answered this question uh, on a recent stream. I think we did. And my it's an easy answer for me. It's uh, East Basuma because I think what he did last season <laughs> at Brighton and what he's capable of doing is it's the first – honest replacement we've had for Moussa Dembele when it comes to what he will do for our midfield. I really think um, he's so solid. He's so great at breaking up play. He had some of the highest statistics in Europe when it came to um, interceptions and he's very good at intercepting and then, and then moving forward and moving the, moving the ball forward and getting us into the other side of the pitch. So transition, the tra his transition game is incredible and he's going to have really good players around him and good players who make really proper runs and the, his level will go up, I think. And I think, he will transform how we play football. So for me, it's Basuma. Okay, good show. Good show. For me, it's Ivan Perisic. Ah, I see. The, <laughs> the reason I say Perisic, he's my second choice. Is <laughs> literally we need. Do we get a second choice? <laughs> one answer, Brian. <laughs> Just like Dago, you get one answer. I don't get to name six because there's only six, right? Yeah. 
So, uh, there's actually been five. So, it's just a joke. There's actually been six, but you're just not counting the one kid. Oh, Casey, Ke- well, uh, Ke- yeah, okay. Well, Kelly, yeah. Let me go back to Perisic. Oh, it's Rudy. Um, so, so for me, it's for me, it's Perisic because obviously we've needed quality wing backs that can cross yeah. the ball in, and we know how important it is for Conte. Not only at 33. Does he keep himself in excellent shape and uh, his energy levels, his pace is electric, like literally yeah. electric. And what he will be able to teach, not just Sessignon, but the rest of the team, this is how I conduct myself when we go away. This is how I, I train. This mm. is my method. What he's going to bring. And and for me, the other brilliant thing was it, it was a sign for me, or right, it was a free, that we are signing players that Conte wants. And for now, and yeah. when you go sign a 33-year-old, who apart from like a Lorente, who was always back up, we haven't signed players over a certain age for first-team football. It's always, okay, let's get them young. get them For the future stuff. So, right? so, yeah. so for me, this is an absolutely essential signing. And it, it shows me that Conte has got a lot of clout now within, uh, within who's coming in and who's going out. So, so for me, uh, it has to be Perisic as we stand. It's going to be interesting to watch both of those players because I do think, like, like I said, Perisic would be my second choice. And if you ask me on a different day, I might choose him. You know, and also d- will depend what we see. But Perisic, yeah. again, what Brian just said is is what he does for the squad as a, like his like the amount of shit he's won and and, oh. and, and it's just incredible. Oh, I said poo, didn't I? I said shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> that that shit. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> get this up. Yeah, we should, right? Clink. I know. That's like 75 Clink. cents he's already up to, man. Yeah. You guys should have one just in front of you for swear jar. You can just oh chuck it in whenever you guys. Oh, God. It'd be full by now. Yeah. But yeah, Perisic, Perisic, brilliant. I think uh fantastic signing and, and the two of them together, plus everybody else. I mean, it's been a wonderful summer. So, yeah. Yeah. Next time you guys see me, because you swear you both owe me a piece of gum. Okay. Would you uh, have, what flavor do you like? One piece of gum? A whole pack. What flavor? Uh, juicy fruit. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. Okay. Juicy fruit. <laughs> it's gonna move you. Now that you're asking him quick Get questions, he's here. actually got a little game oh. for you here, ready, boys. Oh, and, uh, now this uh, this graphic is absolutely terrible. So no, after games. you view it uh, to start the game, <laughs> Mr. Ireland. Uh, yep. You feel free to come up with something for us uh, when you're done viewing it, <laughs> and you'll know what the concept is. All so right. here we go, fellas. It's time for <laughs> okay. Quick fire. I kind of love it. I kind of love All it. All right, boys. Very, very, very simple. Little K is gonna shoot out two things to you. I will be hosting. He's hosting. He's all by himself. We are gonna slide on over oh, here yes, and me. just blurt out the first answer that comes to mind at the same time for hey, both of you. Why are you still gonna be afraid? Ready? Yeah, push the button. So both of you answer at the same time as fast as you possibly can. Okay. Spider Man or Venom? Spider Man. Okay. <laughs> NFL or MLB? NFL. NFL. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> fight! Fight! <No. laughs> Little K or Big K? Oh. Case. Middle K? <laughs> uh, no, 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 I, can't, I can't. I can't. Yeah, that's, I can't. that's not fair. I'm giving you guys a simple out here. But I'm giving no, you they, an they, out. They, 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 I, I can't do that. I can't. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with Little K. Go I'm going Little K. No, I'm going Switzerland. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going Switzerland and saying oh, Bobby K. Little K, Little K. I'm going. I'm going Bobby K. I can't. I can't. I can't pick between two people that I can't do it. I can't. Ah, uh, get over it. He's so sentimental. This guy. I, I can't. <laughs> Iron Man or Captain America? Iron Man. Iron Man. Ah. Iron Man's my favorite too. Super speed or super strength? Speed, super speed. Oh, I should have super, I'll go super strength. Okay, now what would you rather win, Champions League or the league? Premier League. The league. Oh. Every time. Now this one's gonna be a tough one. I know. Actually, I know Brian Daigle's really answer to this one. I'm curious yep. to Brian Ireland. So. <laughs> Levy gone or Arsenal relegated? Arsenal relegated. Arsenal relegated. Oh, I actually thought you would say Levy got. I because I well, remember you know he was going to go eventually oh, anyway. Oh, oh, Arsenal relegated is just something. Arsenal relegated, so uh, you'd never miss the NLD. Exactly. Listen to to me. 
I would love to see Arsenal. Or actually, no. Do you know what? I'm actually going to contradict exactly what I said. I know. I was just going to say what he told um, me. <coughs> it's not because of Levy gone. I the 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 thought terrifies me of not knowing there's two North London derbies every week. So every, I'd actually like to every change week or every season. Every season, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'd like every to change my answer. Do you know what? It's because when you say Levy and you say filth, I may hate this man, but the filth is. Uh, and what's going on this summer? So I, it's an I, entire I'm, club over yeah. one person. It's yeah. easy. It's an so easy I'll, decision. I'm gonna go back to leave you gone. You're going for leaving gone. I'm gonna yeah, still go with Arsenal relegated. I think um, they'll get they'll get back up again. We'll play North London derbies, but we just get to laugh at them. That's enough for me to be uh, <laughs> Arsenal down. <laughs> you know, because they'll come back up. Um, but we get to you know having having them get relegated would just be would be glorious. You can't say Levy and Arsenal because as soon as you say Arsenal, my, the filth. If, I, I, you go I, straight I, to that. Yeah, I'm like, I, <laughs> I thought you'd what, go straight to that with Levy. Never mind. What you said. Thought it'd be the other way around. Now, this one's actually a pretty tough one. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Dark chocolate doesn't taste too good. <laughs> Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Ooh. I personally say Ronaldo. Ooh, and that is the Ooh. end of Quick Fire. Let's tally up the points, shall we? I don't want to. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, I don't know there's points here. Does, does somebody win? I think we all win here, don't we? That's okay on that one. <laughs> and uh, Brian Daigle finished with 1,500,000 points. <laughs> and Brian Ireland, 1,500,000 points. We got a draw. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do we get extra time or what? I can't have a game well, end with a draw. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys can. Uh, Oh, this what, this you know, one's for my boys. What's going on? Rock, paper, scissors. Who won the game? That's, the, that's out of five. No, they got to do it doing one, two, three, hit. Rock, paper, scissors, hit. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors hit. hit. One, no. One. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, hit. One, oh. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, scissors, hit. <laughs> rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, hit. Rock, paper, scissors, hit. Rock, paper, scissors, hit. All right. Dago takes it. Dago wins. Dago wins. Oh, first of five, we could be here for three weeks. No, no, that's going to take too long. We got three, three out of five, <coughs> not first of five. No, they won. He won two out of that's three. Three out of five. Oh, three. Yeah. Whoever gets two wins first. Yeah. I move over. Your best. Move over. Mm -hmm. I have to move over for you to ask this question. Sure. Okay. No, you guys are just taking up a lot. Of oh, sorry. <laughs> it's it's little K. He's so big. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, other than Ndombele, who would you say has been our worst signing in the last five years? First. <laughs> Brian oh Dagle. So Jack Clark. Wow, Brian Dagle. Brian Dagle. Wow. <laughs> Brian, yeah. <laughs> All right, I was like, yeah, I got my answer. Brian, Brian, Brian's going through a whole rotary list here. Yeah, <laughs> Jack Clark for me, it was one of the most ridiculous signings. Never barely kicked a ball for the team. I think we paid 15 million for him for uh, like for what? Over 15 what? somewhere around there. It was yeah. ridiculous money for a player that had is like did nothing. I mean, Wait, I'm sure there were others that no, performance wise play. maybe didn't. But he, he didn't even play. Like, it was just pointless. Then why would we spend money on a player? Like? On a first pick. So, <laughs> so I'm just three, three years ago we bought him? I'm yeah, I think so. He went on loan, and then he went on loan, and then now he Sunderland have bought him. Yeah. Sunderland didn't have bought him for like $2 million or something like that. So, you sold so, him for $2 million? Yeah, something below five, somewhere below five. It was really, really low. Wow. Yeah. It's just such a waste of money and such a waste of time. Do you know what? I, I'm trying to think. It's mine five or six years. Um, but I, okay. I, 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 I'm going to have to go with Clinton and G. Uh, Clinton and G put a good cross and, 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 and got an assist in a game. Clinton, Clinton and G. <laughs> it is a bad one. Though. It's not just that it was a bad one. It was at a time where once again we were going, we, we need yeah. a player of this position. We needed to crack on and we, and he, uh, and we brought in. <laughs> we need a player of this position. Yeah. Let's get him in to, to take the club forward. And this deal, again, took about six weeks to wrap up for a so and when he came, it was it was a nothing. It was a nothing. You can say the same with George Kevin and Kudo. Yeah, um, but again, they played for the first team in the in the league. Uh, yeah, on a, someone different. On a few, no, I know it's fair. I'm just I'm just sort of uh, yeah measuring the the, yeah, the, I, the crappiness of the transfer. Got, but I've they're got, both got, they're both pretty bad. Yeah. Who's that? Clinton and G. Who's that? Exactly. Oh, exactly. exactly. We got him years back. Yeah, he was a winger we brought in. He's about five years Frank, ago. Just before you guys probably right? were old enough to watch her. Well, it was under Poch, but I think it was under Poch's second year. Yeah, oh, we, bought, we bought them from France, somewhere in France, right? Yeah, they were they were yeah. both from the from the the French. Yeah, and Kudu was as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, their crap yeah. from the French league was a thing for a period of time for Spurs, which was an odd. Yeah, yeah. Steve Melbronk, fantastic. Yeah, oh, Benjamin <laughs> Stambouli. Stambouli, oh. yeah, that's another one. But that's too far back. Yeah. Too far back I did like his name though. Yeah, it made me hungry. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does sound like some sort of uh, Let's go get some, some some sort of dish of some kind, some food dish, exotic food dish. There you go. Here, here, buddy. Oh, I don't need that tissue. I thought you needed tissue. Okay, I never needed tissue. Okay, okay. Sorry. Now, <laughs> we're gonna start off with Brian Daigle because Brian Island stole Brian Daigle's first thing, so we're gonna start off with Brian. Oh, did I? <laughs> um, I didn't know I stole anything there, well, but, but first okay. you swore, and now you're oh, stealing. It's a kid show, Ireland. Come on, get know, together, buddy. Yeah. My apologies. You can have it back if you want. Yeah. I was praising you earlier, and now look what you're doing on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's off the pitch. I said you can get a little bit wild, but not too wild, okay? Buddy? All right, all right, all right. Just fucking relax. Just chill. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> okay, uh, stop dancing and ask. <laughs> what's your favorite TV show? Current or in the past? Whatever. <laughs> Current past general your favorite TV show Out of all time. Oh my god, freaking man! Mm, this is a tough yeah, one. No, I, got a few. I got a few. I've, I've got, I, I've got, I've got. I mean, people will know. I well, people might not know. I have a very, very guilty, uh, what was it, guilty pleasure list, mm-hmm. however, with EastEnders, which is a soap documentary. A soap oh, we know what EastEnders yeah, is. They're, 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 they're laughing. I, 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 I haven't missed <laughs> a single episode. It started in 1987. I am. Obsessed, especially you remember moving here. A lot of times I was homesick from watching TV, so watching English TV sometimes just makes it oh, yeah. very, very easy for me. But apart from that, I, I would have to say my, the the best comedy show ever, ever, ever to exist, Only Fools and Horses, which uh, you'll never ever That's replicate, you'll problem. never ever beat. But I, I can ne- men- mention a lot of shows. So, uh, but my guilty pleasure would be Stenders. And only fools and horses is just one. one thing. But, He's got. Uh, I know he comes with two answers again. I mean, you know, is, you know what? I'll let him. I'll, I'll let him have it. Let him have it this time. Let him have yeah, it. He's, he he's, he's one stuff. answer for each boy. You know, he, like was he couldn't sick. pick between the boys. We'll let him have two answers because he obviously loves everything yep. in pairs. So <laughs> there you go. I like, mate, I'm Jewish. <laughs> it's like the two Brian's. You know, he's exactly. got. There's got to be two answers. Exactly. With the two Brian's. Two of us. Boys. There you go. There you go. Noah's Ark. Yeah. Everything has to be done in twos. There you go, buddy. There you go. That's it. Got to have the yin to your yang, baby. That's it. That's it. That's it. Black and white. Um, I've got a, I've got multiple answers too, but uh, that multiple thoughts and that initially come up. But I've got you one. Can have two, two. You can I've have got one that, that that sticks with me and has stuck with me since I watched it. And you, your boys might be too young to have watched it because of the the violence in the in the show. <laughs> but I'm going to name it anyway, and that is Breaking Bad. Um, yes, I mean <laughs> I've never watched that. <laughs> uh yeah, wicked cool. wicked show um so fun to watch and so awesome obviously gruesome but fantastic sopranos is in there is a conversation as well wonderful show love sopranos <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of the beginning of that type of show so um uh that's my second choice if i'm gonna pick, to pick actually two. i'll just crap everything i said because they are oh, i've already thought no i can't because i've already just thought of another three i'm gonna say it quick power suits and suits. Uh, Nina like suits. It's so, it's and, so uh, bad. And this is us. This is this us. Is, this is us. Is a good one. Actually, really good. This is us. Makes me cry a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I admit it 100. percent I ball when I watch that show. I like lie on the couch and weep. It's this, like, this, it's, this so, is us. It's, it's a good show. Yeah. yeah it's but a very good. Show. You said you suits said, is terrible though. Yeah, Power you, oh, you said Breaking sure. Bad, and then it just reminded me. Yeah, reminded. Yeah, you get triggered. Triggered a few shows. Go ahead, bud. Him to finish talking. That's all you got to do. Um, what if this is us? A TV what? show. I've it's, never seen it. it yeah, no, it's too serious for you guys. You want you yeah, want to you guys like, like it right now? No, no, okay. no. Brian no. Allen. Okay, so you were there. You were there. So you on, are there now. Go ahead. Me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ask that one. Uh, let me just. You're there, and then you're here, and then we'll do. Finish where? Your Hold thing, on, and then I'll ask this, and then we can do your game. Ooh, okay. What does this mean? Like Edward? Isn't that the exact same as the first line? No. Yeah. <laughs> Where we would finish, how do you see us doing this year? You guys edit at the end of the show, or what's the... <laughs> nah. We'll do no editing. Yeah, just ask the question however okay. you want to word it then, man. All right, let me, uh, let me word it like he wrote it in. No, how do you <laughs> word it the way you want it. Okay, how do you see us doing this year with our current roster, and where do you think we're going to finish in the Champions League? Who, who's answering first? Oh, go uh, for it. Brian, Brian Diggle, since Brian Island stole yet again. 
<laughs> when did he steal yet again? Remember? Really? With the that was one. that one. He already told them he stole them this uh, one. Okay, but you guys I'm gotta stop my abusing our guests, man. They're not gonna <laughs> come way, back. Brian, Ireland, yeah, Brian Ireland, Ireland came and helped you guys. Yeah, out you last know what? It's fine. We are fine. abusing the guys. <laughs> okay, right. My I, apologies, Brian. My apologies. I understand what they think of me now. It's okay. So, I, I think I get that I'm not, you know, the original. You know Brian, what? But... He, he, he's got a bone to pick because you said little K. Oh. That's probably like, it. That's, yeah, probably that's it. what it is. There's an underlying to this. Man. I did pick Breaking Bad, though. I mean, you yeah. know. Yeah, there you see, he's balancing. He's giving you a <laughs> yeah, but... man, the balance. So what? Where? where okay, let, the, let the man answer. Where are we gonna? I I honestly think we're gonna finish third. Maybe, maybe, maybe push for second. I think when you look at Man City, um, look at their team. Then you add a Haaland to that. It's it's yeah. it's, it's it's scary. Um, I think. Bob Spur, as in Bob Spur TV, and I love the FA Cup more than life itself. And I would love the FA Cup. I would love the yeah. FA Cup. Um, but I would take any cup. I just want to see some goddamn silverware. Yeah. Um, and Champions League, I'm kind of up and down with this. I think we'll get out of the group stage. But we're either going to get to the last, like the last 16 and get knocked out immediately. Or we'll get to like the quarterfinals or semis and choke. It'll be one of one of those two for the Champions League. But for me, the Champions League, the most important thing about it this season is getting back into it. Because yeah. that's when you start really start when you when you're showing right, listen, we've got momentum. There. It's now got to be the, the 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 minimum we expect as a football club to be in the Champions League. That's what we need to do. Good answer. Uh, I'm going to, it's my answer is very similar, but I think we're going to finish second. I actually think Liverpool are going to drop off a touch. Mm -hmm. And I think Conte is the difference between the points between, I think it was uh, 21 points between Liverpool and Spurs last season. I think if there's a coach that can make up that 21 points, it's going to be Spur, it's going to be Conte. And I think we're going to, um, we're going to challenge probably during the season in moments. We may even be making City a little bit nervous, but probably won't have enough because of the amount of money that they will spend and have spent um, in the depth of their squad and their coaching officer across the board. They're, they're just, they're in a league of their own. I think Liverpool will drop and we've seen that in seasons past where they, they have a really good season and they drop the following season. I think that th this season will be the case. They'll lose, they'll drop some points and we'll be able to gain it. The champions league. I think, uh, I think I'm very similar to, to Brian on this thing that, 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 that group of 16, uh, it would be likely around where we get. I d definitely think we'll get out of the group, um, but it's really going to depend on uh, what's going on in the league at the same time as the game, whoever, whoever we have to play. So if we have to big game at the weekend and then a big game in the Champions League the same week, I think that's where Conte, um, from what we've seen in the past, struggles a little bit when it comes to managing those big games. Now we do have a big, big squad by, by or seemingly have a big squad. Hopefully we, that continues once we get uh, past the, the transfer window. So, Group of 16, a little bit maybe, a little bit past it maybe. Um, I don't see us going, getting uh, close to the final, uh, unfortunately. Maybe the following season, if he's still with us and <laughs> is continued to be back, there's a there's a conversation to be had about it. So that would be... All, all I will very quickly add on to that is what you've got to remember is the Champions League, the group stages normally finish the first week of December. Yeah, but because of the World Cup, they're done by the first week of November. Okay. So that's... that's yeah, uh, they're going to be games. pushing them through quick. That are going to be pushed through with the Premier League. Yeah, uh, a lot, of, a lot of football. Rough. Yeah, so, a lot of football so I think that's going to have a huge. Uh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. So yeah, into, uh, to what happens? Yeah, a massive amount of a massive effect on the management of the squad that you have and how you're going to do it, especially with the five sub rule and just you need a bigger squad and, and injuries and the potential for players kind of <laughs> getting themselves ready for that World Cup as well. So yeah, it's it's going to be a weird season, but. I do think you know we've got a lot to look forward to, and with him on the FA Cup, I think we'll, we're going to win a trophy this season. I 100% think that there's silverware in the season yeah. for sure. Well, that's perfect because that leads right into Little K's next question for you, actually. One second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, with how we've been playing and stuff, where do you think we will be finishing in the league and that next year in the FA Cup? He just asked that. So just ask your question the way it's written, please. Okay. Is it better to win the league next year or the FA Cup? Pick one. Oh, it's better to win the league. Any trophy we will take. The Premier League, like you asked us in quick fire, Premier League or Champions League, we both answered the same Premier League. Th Premier League is 38 games. The hardest, 38 hardest thing games to win. 
yeah. against the toughest people in the country and you've come out on top. The FA Cup, let's face it, Arsenal have done it enough times. It could be six games, easy games, and you're at a final. Yeah, you can get it lucky with be. the draw. There's a yeah. lot of circumstances so, with that so that there's, can go your the way. Babies, but the, the winning, don't get me wrong, winning the FA Cup would always hold very, very It's huge. Special. It's still it, huge. It's still yeah. the, the love it is, but nothing would be. Even if you said to me, England win the World Cup or Spurs win the Premier League, I'm still choosing Spurs with the, the Premier League. Harder to do. Over the World Cup. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. All right. Only reason I'll choose Champions League over Premier League is because Arsenal's never won the Champions League. Ever. Yeah. So then if we go and say, like, perhaps we're flexing against an Arsenal. They've fan. never won any European trophy. I don't, I, don't, I don't actually. Well, Arsenal have won a European trophy. Yeah, they have one, I think, right? One. They beat Palmer 1-0. I don't, I don't care enough about them, them lot down the road. As much as I care about us winning the the most difficult trophy in sport to win, so <laughs> as much as I get what you're saying for that, and I understand the the sentiment, <laughs> the, the mentality for that, but for me, like winning the Premier League, 38 games, you play each team twice, <laughs> really, really difficult to to be consistent through a, an entire season and win it. Um, it's so hard, and it and it's you know that for me is is the best, it's the best possible thing you could possibly do as, uh, as, as a football club. One one more thing to add on to that as well. You got to when off when the filth win in their Premier Leagues. It was them and Manchester United. Yeah. That was it. Back and forth. Yeah. It was like those two go for it, and the other, and then Chelsea obviously came in. Right now, you've got to get past Man City. Now you've got to get past Liverpool. Yeah. Now you've got to get There's past six Pepper, teams in there Pepper, instead of two at least. Pepper, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 and Klopp. The Premier League now, with all the money that's coming, is a lot harder to win now. Yeah. Than it was, and I know what would happen if we won the Premier League. Yeah, but we won it at your ground, and we went undefeated. Like, yeah, they'll find yeah, some. That's in the past, mate. They'll find some about nonsense about. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's okay. They can live in the past because our future looks bright. Yeah, I like it. I'll hey, take it. Away. I'll take it. Thank you. Now you guys touched on this a little bit already, but in your tenor of being Spurs supporters, is it safe to say Conte is the best manager you've seen at the helm? While been a supporter, easy easy answer. Yes, I think yeah. the most fun oh, I've had so fun so and far. Why? Sorry, yep. Okay, you're gonna, well, yeah, you're going to expand on that for me, anyways. But go for on. sure. The most fun I've had with the manager is Poch, obviously, because of the Champions League run, the the league sort of challenges that we had and you uh, look like with, with Leicester and, yeah. and, and Chelsea, yeah, a little bit, um, and uh, and yeah, and so from from an experience perspective. Potch was is the, has been the most fun I've I've had as a Spurs fan. But from a quality of management manager perspective, we've never had a manager that's this level. That's the, like Potch got to that level at Spurs. Conte comes in with with the goods, um, and and the CV to do it. And he's in the middle of doing it. He just won a title last year in the Serie A. You know, we 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 got in Mourinho. Mourinho had won it, but it had won things a long time ago. This is a manager who's literally just won the title in the last league he was in. He is. Mustard. He is the best. I think he's better than than both of the other two managers' names. I'm not going to mention. I think he's the best in the world as a manager for, especially a player getting players to play better. It's been immediate. It's the level we, the the team has gone to when we all thought they were shit is impressive. Sir Ice Morgan. So, so yeah, that's oh, well, another quarter. You guys are up. Oh, oh, no, well, that's uh, another I, pack I, of gum. Oh, I, I, I'm going to elaborate a bit on this. For me, go for it. Antonio Conte is the best manager Tottenham have ever appointed. Ever, ever. ever. Yeah, ever, I mean, ever, ever, ever. Hard, what, I'd, hard, I'd be hard to argue what, with that. What, what I will say about this as well is obviously Bill Nicholson came in and Bill Nicholson is Mr. Tottenham. Yeah. But he didn't come in as an elite manager at the standard that he is at. He got to his great status, and rightfully so, by building something at Tottenham. Mm. And Tottenham then punched it to, to an extent. Yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah, but Antonio Conte has come in and we will never ever at the moment see a manager that will come in like you talk about Pepin and uh, Klopp. Klopp, but literally he is right up there with them. Like there's there's no. I think he's a better manager personally, he, but he they are the three. It's brilliant to have them all in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. But we have got a manager at the peak of his powers. Um, yeah. Whereas with someone like Bill Nick, obviously Mr. Tottenham would always different be. Different time you're as never, well, right? Exactly. You're yeah. never gonna replace his name for that. And it's obviously love for Tottenham. But for me, Conte is just the manager appointment um, in recent history. It's the best appointment in our history. Yeah, so it's hard to argue with that, for sure. Yeah. Um, there's also a really interesting, like, hmm, you know what Jose Mourinho was in his last season at Chelsea when they finished 10th? 
soon as Conte came, they won the Premier League the next year that he came. Yeah, yeah, really crazy. that's that's how good he is. He, yeah. I mean, and I get Chelsea. Chelsea's still had a squad there, and they had some issues that season with with injuries and stuff. And th that's not necessarily an excuse, but Conte's the Conte effect is a thing. It is yeah, really yeah. he comes in, he he owns his situation, and he says, "Here's what we're doing." And even Daniel Levy has agreed to do what he's asked him to do. And that is uh, that is not something that we'd all ever expected from any manager coming in. So um, it's it yeah. It, it, there's a chance we could win the league, and you know, City will have to have some errors, have some injury, might have to get lucky. But there's there's a chance there with him as a manager. Structure. Yep. Yeah, there's a chance there that we could we could we could push for it or at least challenge in some aspect. So I think that you know that may sound may have sound diluted in any other scenario with any other manager except for Conte and Conte that, that that's how good he is. He can come into a, a club like Spurs and make them contenders immediately. Yeah. Uh, immediately in the full first full season, of course, because yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand he was never going to come in last season and win the title, but we were way we were in that. Well, we improved. <laughs> yeah, we made an impact massively sure. as well. Right, that's the thing. That's 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 kind of yeah. adding to your all point. the players he we wanted to get really rid of ended up much better yeah. and make an impact. And that's yep. as Spurs fans, that's obviously something that we're very very Incredible. happy and Definitely. proud of. So yeah. we're very lucky that happened. Now sure. you got another game for him, don't you? Yep, you got another right. game for him. Now, this one, you don't have to worry about creating a new graphic because we actually like this graphic. It's really I like easy. the other graphic. A lot of it's hilarious. So. It, it is funny, but we want to, we just, we want something filled. So, zhuzh it up a bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll spice it. We'll talk later about that yeah, one. But we like this one. We like this one. <laughs> this game is now called Quick Answer. So, answer quickly. Your first answer that pops into your head, it's your answer. No multiple choices. Yep. You're going to have to give your own. And I will let Lil K <laughs> explain everything else to you right after this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go fast, boys. You gotta go fast. That's pretty. Now, this is similar. Similar. This is similar, like. <laughs> Similar. This is similar, like. <laughs> That's close enough, buddy. That's fine. You could slow down a little bit, but just that much. And I I have 10 questions ready for you guys. The first five, Brian Dago will be starting. And Can then the next first? five, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and the next five, Brian Ireland will be starting. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. You want answers from both? Yep. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Favorite superhero? Hi, man. So I'm supposed to go now? Yes. Bat Batman. Good choices. Brian. Which you're one? Like fully in There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, right? Now this one I know Brian will really uh, Brian Diggle will really, really like. There we go. <laughs> What's your favorite chicken wing flavor? <sighs> There's so many. Um, well, I do love my ghost pepper chili wings from uh, from Popeyes, so uh, I'm gonna have to say that jerk jerk chicken, jerk chicken, interesting. Love jerk chicken. Yeah, jerk chicken wings are incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite food other than chicken wings? Indian. Pardon? Indian food, curry. Ooh. Oh, like it depends on the day, Mexican or Indian. So I'll go with Indian today for you guys. <laughs> That's right. Keeping it real, baby. I love my Indian food. It's very, very tasty. <laughs> Favorite soft drink? Uh, I, I'm on a huge sp uh, Sprite uh, thing at the moment. I will only drink. I won't drink 7-Up. I won't touch anything. I have I've I've become a, a a sprite whore basically. I will only drink. You just have to say sprite. You don't have to give it a reason. Yeah, I'll give it. A, no, honestly, no, yeah, sprite. I'm gonna go with limonata. What is that? Yes, that's posh. <laughs> limonata. You never had. It's an Italian. It's an Italian soda. It's very I good. Is that that San Pellegrino thing or whatever? It is, is so that San that? Pellegrino. Yeah, it is San yeah, Pellegrino. Yeah, that's that little can that you like to get from. It's your, lemon, your, lemon San Pellegrino. Or the, the the thing that comes oh, with the orange. So, so good. Can. Orange is okay. That's oh, pretty that good. lemon thing. Yeah, limonata. Oh, yeah. Limonata. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, you like that one too. My favorite soda. Now, from the looks inside the country, what's your favorite country in the world? The looks. 
Yeah, like uh, the natural beauty. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm going to have to say I'm going to be very, very biased here. I'm going to have to say this great country that I call home now. For me, Canada is the most breathtakingly beautiful. Uh, and I haven't even seen none of it, but but when you see places like Banff and shit, uh, stuff like that, um, <laughs> you can't help but be in, in awe of Niagara Falls and the beauty of this country. Oh, man, I'm going to go with places I've been. I'm going to go with uh, Ireland. Absolutely love Ooh. Ireland. And it is my last name, but it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> now it's time to flip the script. Mr. Ireland answers first. Yep. Now oh, this yeah. is a tough one. This is a tough one. Favorite video game? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Are you putting a camera Ratchet, and, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah, you remember. You guys like to oh, play that. Um, yeah. Love that game. Played it with my son growing up. Yeah, Him growing up. Thing? Played it all the time, every day. Yeah, uh, that, like, Fox, dude. Fox yeah. Fox yeah. Dude. Great game. Yeah, that's great. Game. Uh, it's a classic. It's a PS, PS2 classic. Oh, it's that robot oh, thing, right? Yeah. yeah. You get the little robot who walks with you, and you go, and it's 3D, and you go through all the... It's, it's brilliant. It's a beautiful game. I, I, yeah. my, son and, my son and I played it together as he was growing up. You had it, yeah. Jay had that, actually. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so, for me, I'm going to go out with one out of the box that people wouldn't uh, 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 think I, I and I don't really like this sport as well. But Tiger Woods Golf 2005 oh, that's a good choice actually. was one of the greatest games ever. And it's I, mean, I, I I don't I kind of watch a little bit now. I wouldn't say I sit down. Oh my god, the golf song! But Tiger Woods 2005, only that edition was the greatest game. And I was like, I didn't. I, I played it for like thirty six hours straight at the time. So oh I, my god! I, um, oh, can I can I have a second choice? Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Of course Tony you Hawk, can. Pro, you guys Tony have Hawk seven choices if you, you can like. have whatever you want, man. Tony Hawk Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Uh, all all of the yeah. editions yeah. Uh, yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. It's like that that um that skate, what was that skate, that skateboard game that you were playing? Oh. <laughs> oh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the original, unbelievable. Um. Speed or something. Like that. No, he wasn't playing. There was another one that's kind of like the updated yeah. version of the new one. I think it's play. called. Like Brian, Brian oh, Bagel's yeah. talking about Tiger Woods 2005. Well, Big Man wasn't made till 2006. Well, he didn't come till 2006. He was he was made in 2005. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Your math is good, Bobby. Bobby. Your math is good. Might have been January or May. Maybe you were made. Yeah. You were uh, made so in I, January. I got to check your production. Stats, so I got to check the production sticker on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go. Okay, go for it. Now, what's your favorite Italian football player ever? Ever? Italian football oh, player. Italian. Uh, uh, I don't see. I'm, this, is a, this, is a, this is a problem question for me because I don't know a ton of them. Um, I'm, you know, a little bit uh, challenged on the Italian footballers. I'd probably go with um, the mid uh, Pirlo. Probably I'd pick Pirlo. I just think he's just beautiful to watch. Absolutely fantastic with the foot <laughs> ball at his feet. His passing was better than better than anybody's passing I've ever seen before. Still, still, I would say that. So a lot to pick from, man. A lot so of for me, there. easiest pie, uh, Roberto Baggio. Well, uh, I, I was Baggio. going to say Baggio, but but that miss, that Baggio over the bar. Yeah. Uh, Roberto, yeah. Roberto, 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 94 World Cup, right? 94 yeah, World but, Cup, yeah. But the thing is, Roberto Baggio, yeah. Italian 90, which is the first World Cup I remember watching properly. Yeah. Fair enough. He, he he scored a wonderful goal against the Czech Republic, I believe it was. Uh, then called Czechoslovakia, obviously. Uh, but this guy was, was, uh, was unbelievable. Sorry, we got. There's a kid in the hallway that cries sometimes. Sorry about okay, that. Okay, I, I, well, I'm, I'm not joking. I literally pulled out the cat. No, it's a kid. That's not this folks. I'm not beating Jay off camera. He's okay. Uh, He's in. You can hear, you hear the kid crying from that. I, I, I that They're in cat. the hallway of our condo building. Uh, she, she, she's very sweet, but she often has a little tantrum. So, so that's what's happening. Roberto Baggio, unbelievable footballer. So it has to be him. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. I just always think of that miss, the Baggio over the bar yeah. in '94, that just kind of you know just sticks That's with it. His reputation is tarnished because of that. Yeah, a little bit. That's it. For me, it's Maldini. I absolutely love Paulo Maldini. That's a good choice, actually. I See, I don't remember them. You could name ten. Yeah, I think like, he's so pick one. The guy can play anywhere. On the map. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't think of them. I don't know. I don't know the names. So yeah, but I tried. Pirlo is still brilliant. The one. 
Oh, that's the guy? The, yeah, that is him. That's what he's talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just basically said your answer, Ireland, but a completely different. You know, the guy with the beard, the long hair, drinks a lot of wine. The beautiful, the beautiful okay, guy yeah, who's like super handsome. And, yeah, 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 yeah pure love. Okay, I'll drink a lot of wine. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're bored drinking wine. Okay, go ahead. You're almost getting there. Three more. Is this special? For like summers, fall, winter. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's your guys' favorite season? Summer. Oh, uh, summer. Yeah, yeah. Summer, 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 summer. E easy. It's not even a question. The, 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 I like I like fall for the football, but like from a from a weather perspective, it's summer every time. <laughs> yeah, I I have to say summer. Obviously, living here now, I do now. The great thing summers I love, in Canada. No, the, 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 great thing, no, the, the thing I love about it is you do get the four seasons. Yeah, you, you you'd never had a summer in England, right? Growing no, up, it's, it's not they do now. They do now. It's just it, happened. It, Climate it, change has brought them summers. Yeah, it's not even yeah, it's it's like you look at it and you get to appreciate it so much more because when you've had like minus twenty before the winter or whatever, and then you get the what, the temperature. I mean, I remember when I first moved here. After it was minus twenty and everything, there was a day where it was two degrees, two. And I was walking around with a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he, he became Canadian that like, day. Yeah, I was like, oh, my God, this is so refreshing. This is Wear lovely. shorts, you know. Uh, that, that's like the Newfies do that every year. Yeah, so, so, what, so, what but what I'm, you guys? I'm, a, I'm a summer. love summer. Good stuff, good stuff. For me, it has to be winter. Yeah, they're winter yeah, babies no. over here. He's not. Actually, well, he's a summer baby. You're a winter baby, I but they summer. love winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. yeah. That'll summer change. No. <laughs> Now, what's your guys' favorite football stadium other than Spurs? Oh, come on, man. Well, I'd have to go. I'd have to go with BMO Field since it's uh, down the street from me, and I have season tickets, and I I get to, uh, you know I get to go all the time. Um, I don't like the stadium itself from a quality perspective. T TFC play there, you know. You're Toronto, Toronto C. Um, so he's, he's looking at me like you just said three headed alien or something. <laughs> it's our BMO local field. club. You should TFC know what play. the stadium's called. That yeah. would actually be really cool if you did say a three headed alien. It is, a, it, is my, it is the stadium I get to go to. Um, there's some other beautiful stadiums that I haven't really been to a ton of them that I would like to go to that would probably you know be better than that stadium. But because it's season tickets, my my other club, my local club, it's uh, it's got to be BMO Field. Oh, it doesn't have to be one you've you've been to. Whatever, whatever yeah, no, maybe, but maybe I, one you want to see. The experience, one time. the experience makes it an easier choice. So, so yeah, I, I'm gonna have to say, and I say this on a lot of streams about if I ever move back to England. Uh, and I have to choose a city. This would be one of the top ones for their love of football, and I love that stadium. You're going to say anything, Newcastle. I am going to say, <laughs> James James gonna say Newcastle. I thought you were going to say St. Lawrence Park, but okay. No. So St. James, no, St. James so, Park is, very, is awesome. So, I mean, it's not just that. It's like I said, Newcastle, the, the people that Fans are just so – forget, we're not talking owners or anything like that. The, uh, the, the stadium uh, is just a, a cold and a noise. You saw what happened when they beat the filth 2-0, how yeah. just how loud that, guy, that stadium can get. And just the, that they, they live for that football team. It's like the people are so, I, yeah, Newcastle for me all day long, St. James's Park. It's a good choice. Now, what's your favorite football memory? Oh, he's got a ton that he could go to. I, my, my favorite it football memory. It doesn't have to be uh, in a game, it has to be. It can be your favorite football memory, you playing, you scoring goals, anything related to football that is your favorite football memory. Oh, man, I got a ton of my, myself. We want the exclusive, boys. We want the exclusive here, man. The people uh, want to know the two Bryans. My favorite football memory, it, it is a Spurs-related one. Um, it, I, I, mean, I had tons of – I played football growing up my entire life. I love the game. There's so many different memories of goals I scored or, you know, the different things that happened that, that, that are in my head. But – the going to my my for my 40th birthday, my wonderful girlfriend who's in the bedroom right now suffering while we have this conversation, um, waiting to get out to have dinner, uh, is uh, for, my, for my 40th birthday, took me, took we went together to England um, to watch Spurs opening game. It was pa Mercio Pochettino's first game of the season, their first game for, for Spurs. It was away at West Ham. And uh, we went, we went to, we got away tickets through uh, uh, what, what the, was at the time Spurs Canada. And uh, Eric Dyer scored the winning goal. Your favorite, yeah! Eric Dyer scored the winning goal uh, in the in the 92nd minute. And uh, and it was being in the way end and the singing the songs and the the buzz and like you know I've I've gotten getting chills thinking about it right now. It was absolutely incredible. And I was already a massive fan, but you know. And then of course the the the, the road we went on with Pochettino after that. But um, just that memory just sticks with me and will always stick with me forever. It's just such a good 
experience. It made me love football more than I thought I could. So I just was, you know, as a person who grew up playing it, um, it was just like, holy shit, if, if football can be like this, it can, it can have this experience. And, uh, I can't, I can't think of, it immediately pops in my head and I can't think of anything else that's better than that. So that would, nice. that would be my choice. Three words. Paul Gascoigne, free kick. Uh, 1991, 91. the filth. Um, okay. there's no, there's no, I mean, everyone knows my obsession and my, my love for that man <laughs> and everything that, that he's done for Tottenham and the style of football that he played. So, so for me, all day long, that Gaza free kick. Okay, I've got to add one question quickly here into your game. I know it's your game, but it's going to be a quick fire question for Mr. Daigle. Gaza or The Rock? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, come know. on. That should be easy. No, it, it, no, it should this be is, simple. No, this is, no, this is my. Uh, no, which way, which one way plays knows. a real sport, the other's an actor. Yeah, but I pick it. Listen, <laughs> Gaza, 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 Gaza is my hit. I'm just hero. winding him up, winding he, him up. He's trying to trigger me. He's trying. He's trying to. <laughs> just winding him up. It's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you need to stir the pot gif in here. Yeah. I, 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 I love Dwayne Roy Johnson. I am absolutely. It's an unhealthy obsession. I must admit, it's something I have to be obsessed with. It is. Um, Pillows on yeah, your face. No, no, on nothing, it. nothing takes over Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, Gaza, come on. Good choice. Good choice. Now, hmm? my turn. Your turn. What turn am I on? Uh, yeah. All right. Let's start off with Brian Daigle. Or oh, which one did I start off with last time? It's been so I long. can't remember. All right, Brian Daigle. You need to dump five players. Sell all right now. Who? Wait. Five players that out of played our current a lot of roster. Them. Okay, you got to five. You got to sell five players that are in the starting eighteen subs lineup, and yeah. They what actually they played. So you yeah. can't oh, not, not players that want, want out, but players that, that would normally start or normally yeah. be in that. We're saying that we that, first that, team. that we would want to leave. No, yeah. that you'd have to make you have to choose, even we'll though you don't. Make it easier. Want to. We'll make it three so, so because I know you guys are getting under a time constraint here. So we'll make okay, it three. three. Yeah, make it three. Make three. So okay. what? Three players that have to start in the starting eleven. That normally would start, but you'd want would to either start or be considered for starting eleven. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so Romero. In the rotation. No, that you want to get rid of. Oh, I want to get. That's what I'm asking. I want yeah, to get yeah, rid of. You want to yes. dump. Rid of. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Regulon. Okay. Regulon. Um, Harry Winks. Okay. Does he count, really? Uh, <laughs> he, played, he played last term. He put I'm him kidding. in a game. I'm not messing with him again. It's more fun that way. And another player. <laughs> We know you got dinner. That's why we don't want to. Joe, Joe Roden. Too hard. Oh, Joe Roden. Roden. All right. That's, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. I went with uh, Royale. That's true. Actually, sorry. Roden can't be on that list because he pretty much did, didn't play. Didn't didn't play. So, okay. Um, somebody that actually played. As much as much it pains me to say it, as much as it pains me to say it, I'm a huge fan of his, Lucas Mora. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I mean that that that's my that's my one of my choices. I got Royale, Reggion, and Mora. Uh, Royale is not because I don't like him. I think because it's that position needs to be upgraded. And if you get rid of him, we get to upgrade it because that means there's money available and there's a space available for another player. Reggion's easy. He just isn't a wing back. Mora, it's time. You know, I love I love what he's done for the club. I love his his attitude. He just he's been riding on that that Champions League performance for for far too long. Yeah, fair enough. Now, last question from Little K over here. So we're going to start off with Brian Ireland this time because I went <coughs> three times in a row. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we are the three swears boys. Yeah. This is also a, a, Threes are a, lucky a two-parter. This is a two-parter, guys. So the first part is how old are you? I am currently 47. I'm about to be 48 in about uh, what, two weeks, three weeks. Happy oh, birthday. August, August 16th will be my birthday. It's a month away or something. Like He's that. 47? I don't know. You I don't thought know. he was like, he, he looks, looks good. in his 30s. <laughs> yeah, looking good. Looking good. There you, you go. Look at you this know, older than 27. 27. Wow. Big J says 30. He says 27. <laughs> Looks like you're getting root beer and you're getting juicy food next time we Thanks, see Mr. Thanks, Ireland. Lad. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah uh, and for me, I, I hit 43. You just had a birthday? I was turned 43 in June. Really? You just turned 43, didn't you? Correct. We're both a couple of old old hey. guys, you know? Yep. 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 And now the second part. Wait, wait, wait. 
Brian Daigle, to be completely honest with you, you do not look a day older 21. <laughs> played, sir. Very, very Have well you seen played. the hairline on this guy? 22. <laughs> 21, look at that. I was being generous saying 21. Because yeah, I it's 22. Be yeah. realistic. Yeah, Come right. on. I'm you know what, people, like, people, like, people like yourselves that have these new stream yards, have these new YouTube it's wonderful. And you sub and the first question you asked is how did we come together? <laughs> and it was like, okay, let's get that answer out until well, by the looks of it, by the end of this show, when people say why did Tottenham on tour split, <laughs> I'll be like, go watch Bobby K and the Free Star <laughs> Boys, and it will be well documented with the way this one exclusive. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah, I hit full just a little bit, of, just a little bit of banter here, you know. Well, it's, it's, fun fun banter. Banter. We're not banter. it's all love, boys. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. Banter yeah. is love. Banter so is part love. Part of your question was, when did you start to support Spurs? Good, good, good question. I started to support Spurs in 1993-94 season. Um, I went over to England with a, a fellow that I was working for at the time who was a Spurs fan, uh, who was from England. Uh, he owned a, a, a retail store here selling English clothing and English music from that he used to collect from like Kensington Market and other markets in, in London. And uh, uh, he he had tickets for myself and one of the other guys we worked with, and we, were, we went to the game. And uh, it was Newcastle. <laughs> in November of that year, and it was Klinsman's first season back or first season, which was well, well, we 93, 93, 94. No, no he, he signed for us 94, 95 season. So, so it would have been 94, 95. So, yeah, so it was 94, 95. My, my apologies. Um, and that, that would have been, you know, you know what? I think I went to the game before he signed, and then I went again the Did next year. Did score a hat trick? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't remember that, but I, w I didn't remember. So yeah, that was uh, that was my first game, or, and that I became a fan ever since. But most of the time, I checked in the newspaper where we were. Oh, where are Spurs? Because we didn't, we couldn't watch games. That's anymore. all we had here. Was yeah. the ability to look at the back of the Saturday. sun and look at the table, right? We had Soccer Saturday with Graham Leggett, which yeah, I but watched. we're too busy talking about United, Liverpool, and, well, and, 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 and every now and again, one of those teams would play Spurs, and I would get to get to watch. Yeah, them a so about, about four times, six times a year, yeah, we'd hear about it. Spurs that and, was until the early two yeah. thousands when. Uh, uh, we got uh, Satanta, which uh, yeah. eventually became Sportsnet World and his own or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, um, for me, there you go. For me, <laughs> you're you're born into it. You're literally it's. But oh, I always remember I've told this story before when I was about seven or I think I was about seven, maybe eight. I'm sure it was around seven. I, I got to the age and I said to my dad, "Listen, what football team should I support?" Because I was, and I my my dad was literally said, "Let me just call your mum in." So my mum came in and my dad said, "Literally, your mum supports Tottenham. She was born in Tottenham. She lived in Bruce Grove for her childhood. All her family support Tottenham." And then my dad said, "Listen, I was born just outside in, or on the or in Essex, but no, in Hackney." So he goes, "My whole family support Tottenham Hotspur." And then he said to me the famous words, but you can support any team you want, my son, as long as it ain't the filth. But he didn't say the filth. He said... Arsenal. He said, uh, so, so yeah. And then I just followed in uh, the family footsteps. My, my nephews and niece, they haven't got an option. They're spurred. <laughs> They don't have it's a, the nature of it, man. It's yeah. like it's like uh, culture, is like culture, and everything else. You... They, they pointed right at me because I said the exact same thing to them. Yep. You can support anyone you want, especially after that humiliating defeat to Byron a few years back. Oh yep. God! I I I had gotten to my tipping point, and I said, "Don't suffer the way I have for thirty years. Go pick your own team." Just because you were born, and I put Tottenham stuff on you from the moment you were born and made you bleed blue. <laughs> Just because I indoctrinated you doesn't you mean you anyone have you want except for one team. <laughs> That's it. And they both turned around and said, sorry, Pops, we bleed blue. It's in us now. We're staying. Love it. There you go. Love he it. almost became a Byron fan. Almost. But then he realized, <laughs> That's wait. okay. They're not, you know. Kind of boring supporting boring. somebody yeah, that yeah, wins it's, all the time. It's a crap, it's a crap it's league in a, in a different country. So uh, He's an annoyer fan. So my <laughs> last question for you here, boys. We are getting towards the end of it. We are getting towards the end of it. So we don't want to make it too easy for you. You are Conte. You must, you must start two of these players in your starting eleven. Your choices are Winks <laughs> and Dembele, <laughs> Brian Hill, Lo Celso, Fraser Foster, 
or Emerson Royale. Oh, I'll throw in Dave, Davidson Sanchez for you as well, make it easier for you. Mm. Winks, Ndombele, Hill, Lo Celso, Fraser Forrester, Emerson Royale, Sanchez. Give me two. You got eight to pick from. Uh, that's easy for me. Uh, I would pick Lo Celso and uh, Sanchez. So, oh, it's so hard, isn't it? it's two that- positions that we need players in that I need that you know <laughs> we need a creative midfielder at Celso. we need another defender to stay to, to maintain the levels just Devin Sanchez so I'm definitely sticking with, Sa- with Sanchez I've always said uh, I, I do think that the that, we made it easy uh, on so Sanchez <laughs> didn't uh, shouldn't add him. <laughs> didn't add him. I wait, was so it was Roy Allen Celso Underbelly Hill Winks Winks and Don Blay Fraser Foster it's Forrester, by the way. Just to... Forrester. Yeah. I, 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 I'm looking at it. It says Forrester right in front of me, too. I've written oh, it down, yeah. Forrester. And even when we tried to, we went looking for him in FIFA the other day to to put him on Tottenham, and I kept typing in Foster because I keep thinking Ben Foster, of course. Stupid. It's all good, buddy. I just yeah. like to make I'm, it. I'm, make I'm, it. I'm, <laughs> world, world. I, I can't believe what I'm about world. to say, but out of all that, it would be definitely Sanchez, and I can't remember to say this, be Emerson. Yeah, you can say it. There's no, no yeah, reason to no, know. But I'm just, sure, those I'm are your options. Like, like, like he, he had he, at the end of the season, he started showing a bit of promise. We need to see a bit more. But I just, I so am against the others. Yeah. The, I mean, let's also for me <laughs> just because of the that creative He'll midfielder that we need. He might, but he's he can won't play <laughs> won't play enough anyway in the system we got. So <laughs> just be on the pitch. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Now, time to wrap it up. Now. This is going to be a sensitive topic here, and I'm just going to move away. What do you rate Eric Dyer's goal today from 1 to 10? Sorry, Eric Dyer's goal, goal today goal. from 1 to 10. I give it a solid 8. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he was he was left alone. You know, he didn't have a he didn't have a lot of a lot of anything in the way. He was not well defended. So you know, if he was he had players on him and he had to curve it around and do something special. It was just a left foot in the top corner in a practice game. So you know, it's it's an eight. It's a good solid goal. Yeah, I, mm. I, I, I'm going to give it a, a seven. And the only reason I give it a seven is uh, we got to remember who we're playing against. Like you said, the closing yeah, down just, wasn't right. Just... The goalkeeper's positioning. <laughs> Wasn't the greatest, but don't get me don't get me wrong. That's not me saying that word a great goal because it was fantastic. It was absolute, <laughs> sinking down in the sea. It was it was a great, it was a a, a great shot, great goal. Yeah, but but I consider them circumstances. It, it, he it, does that in a Champions League game or does that in a in a game against a rival in the Prem. It's a nine and maybe and it's maybe a ten. Um, but he's it, it's you got to consider the goal. And if it's against the filth, it's a seventeen. He gets he gets a twenty if it's against the filth. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He gets a twenty if it was against the Phil. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Harry Kane mm. was a natural born striker right mm. in the hide in DC. Mm. Harry Kane did give him what eight point five, eight point nine, eight point nine. <laughs> Kane did give him an eight point nine on it. Yeah, because he said because he said it didn't. Sonny say it, it looked like Kane did it. So Kane's just taking the taking the uh, you know the the uh, the number up higher because it is okay. related to him somehow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, pad the stat. Pad the stat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know. Well, guys, that is where we will now release you. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Thank you fantastic. Very, very much for taking the time to join us off the pitch today and letting us get to know you a bit better. We already know you, but now your fans know you a little bit better. Hopefully, from this, uh, we Cheers, appreciate boys. you joining us and helping us debut our. Two little games that we put together there. Hopefully you enjoyed them. A lot of fun. Um, it was. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good stuff. And we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Yeah. So let us know where to find you. Give us your Twitter handles, all the YouTube stuff. What is happening with Tottenham on tour? All yours, boys. Take it away. Uh, Dangle, you want to do it? Uh, well, listen, we know, or we know, everyone knows Tottenham on tour is where you find both of us. Um, as well as the other two. Uh, so we, we, we have a, a lot of stuff coming up. We have uh, Straya Conte, which will be basically He Speaks. That show will be rolled out. Um, we've got Ask Us Anything. There, there's loads of new... Like, like around the Cockerel is going to make a return. Yeah, around the Cockerel. Ask Us Anything, like you said, yeah. There's going to be... We, we, we just literally had a meeting where there's going to be a lot of new things coming to everyone's way. 
uh, from Tottenham on tour. Memberships we got coming, which we're pretty excited about as well, which is a big yeah. one. Some match day content, which is going to be probably some of the best stuff we're going to get to do. We're really excited. We've got some some folks of ours, some teammates that are kind of great gonna, ideas. Some going to get us some content from the games as well. Um, so yeah, lots going on. You can reach us on the socials. The standards of socials is at Tottenham on tour. Yeah. If you do that on any of them, you'll find us. It's relatively easy to find. Exactly. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, and subscribe, but uh, really appreciate the support. Um, and, and like, and subscribe on this channel, folks. If you're first here, make sure you smash that like, and subscribe. These guys are doing great, great stuff. Um, tons of fun uh, to be on this channel. I've been on here a few times now and every time I'm on, it's a blast. Yeah, um, so it. yeah, keep right. doing what you guys are doing. And uh, thanks for having us on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, no, we're good. glad you guys took the time out to join us yet yeah. again. Like you said, you've been here a few times. You're always available for us to come on the show, to help us in the background stuff, to help us with anything we need help with. So, guys, truly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you so much because, like you said, as I go on to this, I'm realizing that there is not just a simple click of the button and off you go kind of thing. There is a little bit of thought process needs to be put together and the show yeah. needs to be put together properly so that it's a little bit smooth at least. And yeah. um, your, your your guys tips and and trade secrets have been very very helpful so we're forever indebted to you guys for no that. you're not and just to let you guys know too we're going to get you guys on our channel very soon to promote yeah. what you guys are doing as well um, we'll, have, we'll do a wee special with you lads on and maybe we'll have a game uh, to challenge your knowledge as well as spurs just Ooh. to make it, make it a little more uncomfortable for you after what you just put us through <laughs> <laughs> well we better bring our big boy pants that day then boys, yeah. because they're going to bring it to ready. challenge you're ready. the gauntlet has been thrown yeah. down Challenge accepted, sir. Awesome. Fantastic. We will be speaking to you guys soon. Thank you very much. Guys, get over there. Get Peace. them to 5K. And as soon as they get to 5K, get them to 10. I'm not asking for too much. Okay? <laughs> it's not a I'm lot. I'm asking for too much. I'm it's just only twice you as much. To go from one to two. Just double yeah, it. It's not simple. that hard, guys. It's a <laughs> click. It's a button. It's free. Our favorite word, the first F word that we're allowed to use on this channel Free. <laughs> nice one, mate. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much Bye. for joining us. Bye. Have a great Thanks night. Have a good one, lads. Love Ciao. you guys. Well, guys, there we go. Another episode of Off the Pitch wrapped up. And what yeah. guys to finally get on the show? We wanted to get them on for a while. They able to join us finally. Even though Brian had a little bit of cough going, and we know yep. Mr. Ireland has been <laughs> at it all day long, and they've been working hard, they still took the time out to join us. But guys, thank you very much. We look forward to bringing you yep. more content like this. Hopefully, we'll have somebody in here for you shortly. Maybe we'll do a live show. We kind of don't know. We're just kind of kind of going along with it, and we'll just see how long Rogers wants to give us internet because <laughs> uh, that's part of it too. So, Rogers, thank you for not screwing up this stream on us. Remember to like and subscribe before you go. And, boys, take it away. Imagine this Roger cut out right here. Right Roger's better not cut out. You better hurry up and do your exit. <laughs> Remember, guys, do. today is to do. So go for it. Come, Come on, you Spurs. Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. We sing in France. We sing in Spain. We sing in the sun and we sing in the rain. They try to stop us, but we can't. We think all of us can be in a kid. Be in a kid. Be in a kid. The thing we love most is be in a kid. Come on, you Spurs. Make sure to like and subscribe.